What is going on everybody? Z here and welcome to the first and last episode of Worlds Adrift. So if you guys have any idea what Worlds Adrift is, uh, a, a while ago, 2017, I, I made, I think I only made two videos on it. I was super excited about it. And, uh, it was, it was new. It was, it was cool looking. It was fun and exciting. Let's go to PVE. And it was just, um, it was just something different. It was something new and I was very excited to play it. And well, unfortunately it is, it's no more. It is, it is no more. Uh, so that's unfortunate by the time this video comes out probably probably by the time you guys are watching this is no longer a game you can play so i i unfortunately will not have a link in the description i i won't have anything uh this is kind of just saying saying goodbye to a game um i it's it's kind of one of the first games that i was excited about i got in early access oh foundation was a place of one i almost feel like we should skip this Ah, no, we can't. Rich advanced societies. They discovered a mineral with potent flotation properties, calling it Atlas. Soon they learned how to harness Atlas, and the skies were filled with masterfully crafted skyships, magnificent ports, opulent homes, and grand palaces. Their empires spanned all of foundation. Then, when their glory was at its peak, the world shattered. The reasons for this calamity have long been lost. Only ruins of foundations once great civilizations remain, strewn across the endless horizon. We are the descendants of these people. Our great cultures have faded and been forgotten. Over time, this is like so much more sad now. Using now ancient technologies to build skyships to explore the fragments of the old world. Though the skies are filled with dangers and there are many who thrive on the chaos, it falls to us to create a new civilization amongst the clouds, to build a new foundation and a new era of prosperity. That is a super epic intro. Like that's a great intro. Oh, I love it. It's going to be it's going to be so much worse now. I'm going to get it. The problem is this is the last time I can ever play this game. This is the last time like anybody's ever probably going to play this game. It ends tomorrow. They're doing a live stream of uh of the server shutdown and stuff like that and unfortunately it's it's just going to end and that's it. All righty. We are in. <gasps> we are in the game. All right, so what do we got here? Uh, fire slash release grappling hook. Probably that thing. Okay, little little buggy. <laughs> Control shift. All right, let's see what we got here. You know, the game, it looks nice. It looks really nice. And it's really unfortunate to see a, uh, a game go. Whoop. Oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> Equip scatter tool. All right, you need to build a scatter tool to start getting knowledge from the world around you. Test your salvage tool to see if it still functions. This would be the salvage tool. Can I salvage this thing? Uh, no. Can I salvage this? Eh, uh, no. Can I salvage this tree? Oh, yes! Can I salvage this? No, apparently not. <laughs> but we got a tree. Uh, collect 200 metal. Okay, that's that's done for. Oh, hey, there's metal. Okay, cool. Uh, but yes, unfortunately, this game is is no longer. It's not going to be. Hey, we got some bronze. Uh, pick up. Can I keep going? <gasps> there we go. Pick that guy up. I can't pick these up. Or do I have to salvage them further? Oh, haha. All right, so we got some bronze here. So I, you know, I don't know. I was, 
the, the honestly okay so the only reason the reason that i'm i'm doing this and the reason that we're we're looking at this is because like i said this was a game that i was i was excited about i was very excited about i still remember exactly when it was coming out i remember how excited i was i was actually in um i was in california at the time this this came out and they had the uh the founder packs come available and the keys were selling out like hotcakes they, like they were sold out super fast so I was very excited when I got a key for this. Installed it in Steam. Um, I still remember I recorded it on my super old gaming laptop. And those those two episodes were made. No. Okay. I don't care. That's fine. Those can go. Um, and it was just, uh, I don't, I, you know, I was excited about it. Okay. So what do I need here? And I should be able to use this, right? I thought I could use these. Oh. Oh, the island is shaking. Oh, wait, things are respawning, right? Isn't that what happens? I think it's what happens. Uh, There and there and craft. Perfect. We got a scanner tool. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh, the whole island is going crazy. <laughs> um... I don't, I don't exactly know what just happened. <laughs> Equip your scanner tool. Uh, all right, character. And scanner tool. Uh, put it down here, maybe? Wait, what? By dragging in the slot into the, uh, the scan slot. Okay, where's the scan slot? Uh, scan. Right there. Fantastic. We did a thing. <gasps> Oh, we did a thing. Now we can go scan this. And I believe we, what, number four, I think? Oh. Databank scanned. One of four closest databank. A cache of knowledge from an ancient civilization. Wee. Okay. All right. So what uh, what else do we got here? Now that you have a scanner tool, you'll need to scan it. Use databanks to gather 50 knowledge. Scan the terrain to know how many databanks can be found. Scan databanks to get 50 knowledge. Fantastic. We can handle that. That's not even a thing. Not even a thing. Um, do we need to mine stuff? Probably. But um, but yes, unfortunately, they 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 just can't afford to keep it going. It is an online game, so that means they have to have servers running and things like that. And it just did not generate enough revenue to keep the game actually alive, which is, you know, it's unfortunate. It's really sad to see any game go. Um, but like I said, I mean, we I haven't even played it since 2017, so it's been. It's been over two years, actually, because I think my videos that came out on it were in June and early July. I only had two videos come out. Didn't do very good. And I believe, uh, you know, Ashenir was the thing. We were doing lots of Ashenir stuff. So that's kind of what we did. Uh, scan data banks. Huh? Okay, let's go up here. Let's see what's up here. L looks like there's a thing. Looks like there's a thing. So uh, obviously no series. Not going to be a series. This is just, uh, you know, saying goodbye. Farewell to a game that during the lifetime of my channel i was excited about and has come and gone uh huh, huh, huh. okay we're good can i go through here wait is this where i came off no no it's not hmm okay apparently we need to go find some more knowledge stones <laughs> which is i mean which is what it's telling us to do um, oh, we just have to scan stuff, though, actually. All right, so what if I scan this? The bright green leaves on this tree are plump with moisture. Databank scan, close to databank, 99 meters. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what, this one? 106 meters. Okay, we, we gotta go this way. Uh, oh, it's probably in here. I bet you anything. I bet you anything it's in here. Oh, look at this tree. Wonderful. 105. What? I got further away from it? What's that? What is what is that? Can I mine it? I want you. You're glowing. Not a thing? Not a thing. Okie dokie then. Wait, I thought I was supposed to get 50 knowledge. Now I'm gathering. Okay, now <laughs> apparently I have to make a torch. Alright, torch. Okay. Uh, Find the makeshift class schematic under crafting components. Crafting components, makeshift cloth, uh, plant fibers. Do I have any plant fibers? I have 120. Perfect. And craft. Oh, look at that. We made some. 
We did a thing. We did a thing. Okay, utility. This guy. Makeshift cloth. And some wood. And craft a torch. Beautiful. And then we probably character build repair. Uh, right click your torch and equip it. Drag it just to an open slot. Uh, no, not do that. Let's do this. Oh, geez. It's super bright. It's super bright. We got flashes of light, people. And let's see. Are we getting closer? <gasps> oh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer to a data bank. It's got to be this way. It has to be this way. All right. So let's uh, go to numero five. <gasps> Look at that. We got a torch. Oh, how wonderful. Scan data bank. Scan 50 notch. Fantastic. I can probably handle that. <gasps> There's one right there. Look at that. Databank scan two of four. You gain 25 knowledge. What's this? Uncreated by Bossa. Biome. Wilderness. Civilization. Saborian. All right. 144 meters away. That's not super close. That's not very close at all. But um, the thing that fascinated about uh, to uh, fascinated me about this game was the the building of the airships and the like weaponization of them and you know that kind of fun stuff like it was it was a cool idea to be able to go from essentially place to place and just kind of like see what you know like see what's up and it was i don't know it was a cool idea unfortunately it just <laughs> apparently did not pan out very well <sighs> Um, uh oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> we're good. All right. We probably have to go what this way. I would imagine. I think so. Let's go ahead and scan a deal. Scan a deal. 143. Am I getting closer? We'll scan this tree over here. Are we getting closer? 110. Oh, we're getting closer. We're on the right path. Oh, we have knowledge. Learn revival chamber interface. Alrighty. We learned it. We did a thing. Learn shipbuilding. Use 225 knowledge to uh, learn shipbuilding schematic. So this is something I never really got into. I mean, we did a little bit of it, uh, but like, look at this. There's, there's different engine slots. There's explorer things. There's Atlas engineer, uh, skyship builder, increased schematic slots, cannons, swivel guns. Like there's all kinds of stuff here, man. I kind of, I'm not going to lie. I kind of wish I would have played this a while ago. Because now I'm gonna want to now I'm gonna want to keep going. Enter the revival chamber chamber at the middle of the island. You can now enter the revival chamber. Head to the middle of the chamber. Okay. Uh either solo or with friends you want to remain close to. Ooh. Uh definitely it was a multiplayer thing. <laughs> it was a multiplayer thing, obviously. That's why it's online server kind of stuff. Uh that looks like a grave. Very neato. And another thing that I thought was kind of interesting about this game is that they uh they uh they like they used islands that people made that you could go in you could build an island and they would they would upload it to the game and then it would i don't know it was cool it was it was all neat things all right let's get up here and let's enter the revival chamber uh activate revival network how do i activate revival network this one <gasps> Revival chamber disconnected from network. Revival chamber detected. Emergency fail safe. Uh, emergency fail safe. Safe. Transporting in eight seconds. Oh gosh, three. What's going on here? Ooh. Hey, we got a shipbuilding tool and a repair tool. Now entering the wilderness PVE. <gasps> what? <laughs> oh my gosh. I just totally died. Uh, near my revival chamber. <laughs> oh my goodness uh when you die everything you're carrying that is not under your belt will be dropped right of items will stay in the world until <laughs> why why i just i i did what it said and i got i got dead for it that's not nice uh oh uh oh okay we're good <laughs> um this is not at all where i was wait so is my ship building tool and everything gone Oh no, build. Okay, it's still there. All right, so let's go ahead and let ourselves down. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that's a sweet looking temple. All right, let's swing this way and fall safely. Wonderful. Oh, what is that? Can I scan it? 
an old fuel extractor, probably with some fuel left. <gasps> Wonderful. So, okay, what is this? Uh, repair mode, salvage mode. Okay, so I'll get fuel out of this. Did I get fuel? Uh, crafting. Uh, I did. I got 33 fuel. Wonderful. Is there anything else I can get out of this thing? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. All right. Oh, look, at, there's an island over there and there's a, a temple. Okay. I'm sorry. It's pretty exciting. I like checking out things that are new. So um, I think I was kind of waiting personally for me. And it looks like a lot of the Steam comments and things like that where I was waiting for the game to go uh, like full release. You know what I mean? And it just it kind of never got to that point, unfortunately. Oh, we could have got more fuel out of that thing. Well, it fell off the cliff, so there's really nothing I can do about it. What is this? Open. A torch. Ha ha ha. Wait. Yeah, right? Is that our inventory? Uh, Yeah, inventory right there. Also, I like this inventory style where it's like so many blocks and each thing takes up so many uh block spaces. That's kind of cool. Actually, can I put this right there? Fantastic. All righty. It is equipped, people. Um, I don't know. Oh, there's a ship right there. So, like I said, this is an online game. That means when you log out, your, your ship is like here to take. It's a thing. Uh, let's go see if anybody built anything over here. I'm kind of curious. Welcome to the foundation. Your next episode should be to unlock shipbuilding, scan and find more data makes gain 25 more knowledge points. Okay. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's a beautiful ship right there. And there's this wall. I never got enough power on a ship to actually get through a wall before. So that's something I never got to do. And it's kind of, uh, well, it's a little too little too late. You know what I mean? Ooh, this looks like a chest. <gasps> it is. What is this? A strapped fin. Uh, okay, go. Wait, what? Why can't I put it in here? Oh, there we go uh porpoise strapped fin so it looks like that's a propeller that is a fin a barrel stool okay very neat looking for some research though i need some knowledge we need some knowledge people what is that that's a rock okay we found a rock Whew. a little worried there so yeah that is definitely somebody's ship oh it's so cool to see that oh hey what's this that's a mast uh, <laughs> what? uh can i can i has this can i can i scan this no scanner sorry uh sky core atlas enhancer oh very neat i want it and i has that oh wait actually i think if i go into build mode uh i don't think i have ship building yet uh, nothing to pick up. It's this thing right here. Interact with the shipyard to gain access. Okay, so I'd, I'd have to throw a shipyard here. Open. Uh, we got some meat. I'll take that. It's probably this guy's. So, they probably built their ship right here. With the shipyard. That's exactly what happened. Uh, these are all, like, panels for the ship. And then, th there's a mast right there. So, that's pretty neato. Uh, but I need more, <laughs> I need more research points. <laughs> before I can really do anything. Closest data bank is 53 meters. How is it 53 meters still? I scanned something else and it said it was 53 meters. How much is, how far is away from this one? 55. I think it's in here. I'm almost positive it's in this thing. It is in here. It's in here somewhere. Is it up there maybe? Uh, is there a room? Okay, let's see. Hmm. Nothing here. Ow. Uh, what about this one? There it is. Ouch. <laughs> oh my gosh, I lost half my health for that. <gasps> Holy moly. All right. Uh, so we got that. You gain 25 knowledge. You gather enough stuff for ship building. So, uh, knowledge. Ship building. Okie dokie. Look at that. We did a thing. We did a thing. All right, so now, can I? Oh, I could have just, I guess I could have just walked out. <laughs> I could have just walked out of there. Uh, if you want to use another traveler's shipyard, you'll need to ask for their shipyard code. Gather 160 metal. Oh, that's right, because I lost all of my metal. Ugh. 
Alrighty, craft a shipyard from your inventory and equip it to your hotbar. Crafting. Um, shipbuilding. Shipyard. Oh, one, two, and three. So you can use any kind of metal for this, which is super handy. Oh my gosh, it takes actually like nine seconds to make. What? I don't have nine seconds. Alrighty, we got a shipyard. So drag this to our hotbar. Fantastic. Uh, numero six. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna try to place it over here, because there's already ship building parts over here, and if I can utilize them, why not? Valid spot looks fantastic. <gasps> oh, we did it. We did a thing. Look at that. All right, so there's a thing over here. Interact with build a ship frame. Interact. Uh, designs. We have a dinghy, a tug, a skiff. A dune bug and a spear. Do I have enough stuff for a spear? I don't know. Let's do this one. And then I don't have any wood. Okay, let's go grab some wood. And we're gonna try to make this thing. We're gonna make it happen. It's the thing. We're gonna make we're gonna make a ship. Alright, we got 450 wood. We should be good. Go into here. Wood. Boom. Craft. Okay, 50 seconds left. Can I just let it go? Oh, look at it go. It's doing a thing. Is it, do I have to like actually interact with it or is it still going? No, it's still going. Oh, <gasps> we are building our ship. That is right. Oh gosh. It's still, it's still almost sad to say goodbye. Like I, you know, I know that I never played it, but this is kind of cool. It's done. It's actually done. Okay. So now what do I do with this? Uh, frame. Structural. Okay. And then, is it this tool? Okay, so I should be able to take this. And... You cannot overlap another item. Uh, I wanted to put it on the bottom. I feel like we should have frames... Throughout the bottom. You know what? Those are probably like old pieces. Uh, okay. So can I do this? You know, I'm pretty sure there's a, uh, okay. We'll set that there for now. I thought there was a way like you could attach. Yeah. You can attach like anything in, in your shipyard dome. There's like a dome, a dome. There's a dome. <laughs> All right. So I want you. Okay, <laughs> you can't. All right, can I interact with it now? Uh, let's go ahead and place this here. <gasps> Look at that. Um, I really wanted a a, a below, like a, a downstairs. That would have been kind of cool. Okay, can I grab you and throw you like right here? No. Okay, that was wrong. Um. You cannot overlap the sign with another item. Interesting. Okay, so how do I... Can I build anything? Can I take this? This has to go to an engine. Uh, can only place on a sky, a sky core generator. Okay, so... Craft and assembly station. Alright, let's go. Let's do that. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. We, we got some ground shakage. Assembly station. All right, fantastic. What is happening? What? What? How did I? Why? I don't even understand what happened there. Oh man. I hope I'm so. I hope I'm on the same island. Please be on the same island. All right, I'm on the same island. That's <laughs> that's a good thing. That's a good thing. We can jump insanely fast and high. I feel like we leap like Spider-Man. Leap. See, so look at this. Whatcha? Whatcha? It's pretty cool. Okay, let's go back to the ship. And this should be all of my goods. It is. I actually found some more goods on the way. <laughs> all right. Uh, cast an assembly station. All right. So boom, boom, and boom. Man, you know, I really like the crap. Not enough inventory space for the item. Hmm. Can I like just drop you? Uh, delete campfire. Uh, can I just uh? Yeah. Okay. Now can I craft it? What? I probably have to like move stuff around. Hey, there we go. 
Uh, yeah, you have to like manage your thing. It's like a little game of Tetris, a little mini game of Tetris. All right, cool. Uh, so let's do this guy. <gasps> hey, we did it. All right, put that over there. Escape and assembly station right there, I guess. That looks good. So what do we do with you? Interact, ship parts, storage, structural helms. for. Okay, Skycore, that's what I need. We need a Skycore. Uh, we only need one Atlas shard. Guess what? I got five of them bad boys. Uh, a casing and a generator. Craft that. <gasps> oh, look at that. What Skycore coming on up? Uh, how long does that take to build? Oh, okay. A few more seconds. Alrighty, Skycore has been made. Let's go ahead and get up on our ship and not die. Okay, fantastic. And then three for this guy. Place you. Uh, right there. Fantastic. Okay. Now, can I get that thing? Where's that thing at? Where's the uh, this thing? I don't know what it does. Enhancements. <gasps> Ooh, it worked. It worked indeed. Okay, so we have that. Now, I want to be able to put like a, uh, a thing on here. I have this. I want to put it like... Interesting. I'm kind of curious like as to how... How do I get this to go on here? Maybe I don't. Maybe there's not a way to do that. There's got to be a way. I'm almost positive because I think last time we had like a... a two... We had a two-tier ship, if I'm not mistaken. All right, now that you have access to some decision, uh, you can craft a personal reviver. Oh, that's that's very handy. Personal reviver. How do I, how do I make you barrel? Uh, a helm. Personal reviver. Okay, that's what we need. Perfect. You there and you there and craft that bad boy. <gasps> oh, look at that! We, when we die from like falling from zero feet, we'll uh, we'll be able to revive on our ship now. <laughs> how wonderful for an entire episode. All right, uh, let's get some storage too. Can I get some storage? We'll use wood for storage. That sounds, oh, and we have to have a little bit of metal. Okay, craft that bad boy up. All right, use your shipbuilding tool to pick up your new reviver and place it on top of your ship. I kind of have an idea how this is working already. <laughs> See, there is definitely, there's definitely a frame right here that I look like I should be able to put right here. Cannot move part here. Maybe it's because it's like already crafted. I think that's probably what it, probably what it is. All right, let's see. Let's grab, what is this? A barrel? Let's grab the barrel. We'll throw it right there. And then let's grab the personal revivor. And we'll put it right here, kind of towards the middle of the ship. Wonderful, that's it. Interact with your reviver to register your character. Okay, register. Hey, there we go. Place a helm on the ship. All right, fantastic. Easy enough. Man, I'm like, yeah, I'm, like, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I'm fully enjoying this right now. Uh, helms, uh, I need a helm. A wind cloth, a small piece of cloth that shows which way the wind is blowing. Uh, I don't think this is good. Oh, it does work. Okay, Um, let's see here. Okay, let's go into, uh, can you go away? you're in the way um building utility crafting opponents makeshift cloth uh some plant fibers craft that all righty we got some plant fibers wonderful we have two stacks of them <laughs> interact more cloth in there easy enough that has to be metal this has to be metal this can be wood craft that bad boy up Man, this is like a neat, like, this is a neat thing. This is a neat thing. I like it. <laughs> and it's gonna go away. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have even played it. I should have just been like, you know what? I should have just made it like a, a tweet saying, well, goodbye to a game. No, nope, I had to make a video instead. <laughs> now I want to play it. All right. And uh, we'll throw the helm. The helm should be like right here, right? It should. It should. Okay, let's move this guy. We'll move this right there, and then we'll move this right there. Oh, oh, that is right. Okay, do I have to interact with this thing? Uh, activate Atlas Pulse. What does that do? 
Activate Atlas Pulse with Atlas Shard times one. I don't know what that does exactly. Are, are we are we done here? Take control. That's forward and back. How do I go up? Oh. <gasps> Guys. We had flight. I think this is lowering down on the dock. <gasps> we had flight. We did a thing. Okay. Uh, you have taken ownership of this abandoned shipyard. Well, it's not abandoned. It was mine. I built it. <laughs> um, unfurl. Oh. And then furl and unfurl. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so hold on. Let's see. I don't think I can build any engines or anything like that yet. I don't think that's a thing for us. Uh, Helm's engine. What is this? Oh, I can. Actually. Uh, but I'm going to need more metal. Oh, we absolutely, we have to have an engine. We have to, we have to have an engine. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it, people. We've got to have at least an engine or two. All right, we got the stuff. I think we got the goods. All right, engine, 600. <laughs> I don't think we have enough. Uh, wait, what? You can only add the same... Oh, well, let's take that out then. Easy enough. Problem solved. Craft that bad boy up. <gasps> we got an engine! <laughs> Ow! We have an engine. Um, so, let's say I want to put this on the bottom, right? Let's say we wanted to throw it like... Uh, should I like rotate it? How do you rotate? Fixed rotate, free rotate. Oh, yeah. One there, one there. Absolutely. We have to have dual engines. One engine. Come on. What are we, amateurs? Alrighty. Let's go ahead and throw this guy on here. Oh, buddy. All right. Rotate. Uh, I'm trying to get it like... That looks pretty good. <gasps> oh, we have a thing. We're doing a thing with stuff. Okay, interact. Uh, is there anything else? Decoration... Not worry about that. Sails, sky core, revivers, helms, structural, small panel, deck. A deck that can be fitted onto a ship frame. So is this the item that I was looking for in order to build the... Uh... Oh, it has to be the same material, of course. Uh, craft that. Now, can I take this and put it wherever I want? No, really weird. This, this frame down here, I feel like it's supposed to... I'm almost positive we're supposed to be able to put stuff in there. Hmm. What other things do we have? A small panel? Maybe it's a small panel. Do we have to put a small panel on there? Probably. It's probably had to be a small panel. Big panels go on the top. Small panels go on the bottom. Maybe. Put that there. That's kind of what it looks, that's that's what it's looking like. That is what it's looking like. So I have to build a whole bunch of small, can I like uh, harvest these? Okay, that's way too slow. We're getting like a little bit of wood out of that. That's not gonna do anything. We get way more wood by harvesting trees. All right, so I have enough panels on here. Looking great. Let's go ahead, let's pop up here. Uh, it's kind of cool. They actually like try to conform to the area. As you can see, they kind of like bend around and stuff. Uh, so very neat, very neat indeed. Whoa, okay. All right, so how do I control, take control, climb, how do I, how do I access the engines? I feel like I have to fill these with fuel. No, maybe not. Can I just put them in here? Use uh, fuel. Energy rich liquid that can power a ship's engine. Okay, so if I did that, is there like, I didn't see a fuel thing. Hmm, anyways, okay. Let's do it. Uh, nope. Uh, shift. All right, going upwards. Upwards and onwards, people. Oh, oh, whoops. Just realized my mistake. I, I didn't, uh, <sighs> Oh gosh, I didn't put fins on here. There's no way for me to control this. Okay, light control. <laughs> uh, 
we're gonna make it a wide turn here. I didn't put fins on it. Oh no, I'm a noob. We'll go figure. Oh, he got it back on here. <laughs> uh, I probably just died. No, okay. Oh, I was a little worried. I was like, uh oh, I have made a mistake. Okay. Uh, we need to have fins. We definitely need fins. Uh, wait, why? Basic sail engine. Uh, ship parts, charge, structural, helms. Res oh, maybe not. Wait, so how come these aren't working? What do, what do I have to do with these things? Do I have to like access them? Because these things never turned on. Hmm. Maybe I should put these on the top. Let's do that. Let's put them on the top. Uh, okay. This only this item can only be placed on the side of a ship. Oh. Okay. So what about like right here? You know, I don't really know. Uh, cancel. That was a mistake. <laughs> All right, so those go there. How do I activate? Oh, that looks terrible. All right, so how do I activate these things? Do I need a fuel tank? I probably need a fuel tank of some sort, right? Uh, structural engine. I wonder if there's something in the knowledge. Engines. Use 175 knowledge to create that. I don't have any. Uh, shipbuilder. Oh, wings. Oh. Oh, but I can make engines. I just can't control them. Create common engine schematic. I have engine schematic though. Barrel stool. Oh wait, hold on. I have fins. I have fins. No, don't delete schematic. Learn. <gasps> oh. Learn. Okay, there we go. So now if I go into here, uh, wing. Hmm. Yep. All right. So what do I want here? Resilience, power, air brake. Fourteen, eighteen, twelve. That's twenty-two. I think this fourteen, eighteen, twelve is pretty good. All right. So let's do that one. We've got one fin down. <laughs> I think I need a fuel tank before I can actually use the, uh, utilize the engines, unfortunately. Um, right there, it looks, looks fantastic. <laughs> I, I don't really know. All right, uh, engine. Oh, hey, there was a, there was a, a new one. Revised propulsion if attached to ship requires a powder generation, generator to run. The great minds, uh, uh -huh. They built, okay, so, it probably provides propulsion attached to a generator. I don't think we have a generator yet. We don't. We don't. All right. Cool. Uh, I think we should take off and explore. All righty. Well, let's go ahead. Let's unfurl the sail and take control max up and let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, look at we have turning radius. We have turning capabilities. <gasps> we are free. We're free to do what we will. Oh, how wonderful. I think full steam ahead. We are good to go. <laughs> now, I'm almost positive we cannot go through the door or through the wall. Uh, there's these giant walls right here. I think you have to have like a lot of power to get through them. Um, I don't think there's any way for us as a little brand new noob kind of person to do this, but um, yeah, you know, this looks like an epic kind of screenshot. Let's do it. All right. Screenshot has been taken. I think we should try. Final thing. Uh, whoa, nose diving. Nice nose diving. Let's not nose dive. Okay, let's go. Let's go for it. Let's just go for it and let's see what happens. We're probably gonna regret this terribly, but we're gonna try. 
Um, I think if you, I think you have to get altitude. I think if you get altitude, you'll be good. Ooh, we're gonna try it. Very bad. Oh, there's the other guy's ship too. Okay, full speed and forward. I wish I could get the other engines going. Hmm. I want to go look at this guy's this guy's thing. Well, I was trying to look at it. <gasps> look at that! Can I take those parts? <laughs> can, I, can I have your parts, please? Um. All right, we're gonna go through it. We're gonna go through the wall. We're gonna try it. I've never tried it. I think we're gonna blow up and die. But oh, oh well. That, like I said, this is literally the only episode we're ever gonna do on this. Because look, right on the other side of the wall, there's like things. There's like things that look cool. Oh geez, this is bad. This is a bad idea. I already know it. All right, I think we're going through it. I don't know like how big the wall is. I have max up. We have everything. We're going max forward. We're getting to the wall. Things are gonna happen. We're probably gonna blow up and die. That's all right. It's all right though. Oh geez. Oh, I feel like we just aimed straight upwards. No, I think we're okay. Okay. I think we're definitely in the thing. We're definitely in it. <laughs> so far, so far, so good. Nose up. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we're trying. Come on, baby. Pull together. <laughs> Oh, I feel like we're pirates, like, taking on something. Oh, no. We're still nosing down. We're still nosing down. Okay, come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on, baby. Watch, the ship's just gonna, like, blow up into pieces. And we're just gonna lose everything. And that's just gonna be it. Oh? I feel like we're getting close to the other side. Look, listen to the epic music. It's amazing. Come on. Come on, we can do it. <laughs> we can do it. You can do it. You know, I don't feel like we're actually moving at all. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we moved at all. I think we're stuck here. I don't think we have enough power to get through this. I don't think we moved a single bit. Nope. Nope, I don't I don't think we did. Wait. Open. Target needs to be repaired before it can be open. Oh jeez. Repair. Requires elm to be repaired. I don't have elm. <gasps> oh, apparently I should have made a whole bunch of those things. Um, well. That's unfortunate. I was really... Oh, why can't our engine... <laughs> engine, work! I need you to work. Uh, Sue, so it appears that we are stuck. <laughs> oh, we are stuck here. Yeah, there's there's not a lot we... <laughs> not a lot we can do. Uh, what are you made out of? Uh, we're gonna have to salvage some things. What are... What are you made out of? Elm! Oh, good. <laughs> it's made of elm. All right, let's see if we can repair this bad boy. All right, we're moving away from the wall. I don't think we're going to be able to get through it. Um, I don't think you can get through it with sails. I, I actually think you have to have engines to get through it. Uh, but we are, we're cruising. We're cruising now, which is good. Oh, geez. Okay. Nice and steady. All right. We're cruising. We try. I mean, we tried. I never made it through the wall. Uh, I never really played it enough to get to that point, but um, yeah, that's actually gonna end it, guys. That's it. This is this is the end of Worlds Adrift. It is the end of it. Um, I know we never we didn't really get into it. We didn't really play it a lot, but you know, had to send it off. Uh, the servers I think will be shutting down. What is going on over here? <laughs> There's a thing. The servers are gonna be shutting down. I believe at like one o'clock in the afternoon my time. I was hoping to catch the stream, but um it's it's their their time zones are different so i'm not gonna be able to actually stream it i thought about streaming it as like the final thing as uh as it sunsetted but that's 
not possible with the whole working and stuff. But thank you guys for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed our little farewell to Worlds Adrift. A game that we never really got into. And I kind of regret not getting into it. Because I think... I think it could have been fun. I think it could have been fun. I don't really know what's beyond the wall. And I don't really know what else there is to do beyond ship building. To be completely honest. So, um, build better ships. Build bigger ones. Maybe there's like these monstrous ships that like had like a hundred Atlas core generators and like massive battleships. I don't know. I don't really know. But I do know it was fun. It was cool while it lasted. And thank you guys for coming out. Hopefully you have a wonderful day. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, what other game do you get to do this? Look at that city on a rock. That's so cool. <gasps> oh, there's so many islands beyond the wall too. So many. Um, but yes, thank you guys for coming out. You have a fantastic day. And let's just go ahead and release and do a little bit of skydiving action as we end this series. Oh, hey, I'm actually skydiving. What if you can actually get a parachute? Probably not. <laughs> Alrighty guys, you have a fantastic day. I'll see you. Well, I guess I won't see you in the next one. Alrighty.